Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a little video, just a tack haul slash what's in my horse closet slash getting ready for this show season. So we'll just get right into it. So I went to Olsen's this past weekend, which is just a tack shop that's pretty close to my barn, and I grabbed some stuff to get me ready for the show. So I have these, the first thing is these gloves, and I'm so excited about these. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but they're the little ones with the hand on it. And I, uh, they're super soft and they really fit on your hand well. Also, a nice thing about these is that they are touch screen compatible. So you can use your phone in them, which is super nice because I hate having to just keep pressing the buttons or have to take my gloves off. So the next thing I bought, which I am, whew, is these new boots. So these are the Aria Challenge. And they're kind of a step up from the Heritage. So they're just a little bit better contoured and um, the zipper's a lot better. That's the only issue I have with my Heritage's is that they kind of unzip during my lessons and it's been becoming kind of a problem. So grab those new boots. And Aria is my favorite boot brand. I have had mountain horses in the past, but that was only one pair and they didn't last me super long. But since then I've had Ariat and had really good experience with those. So then the last thing I picked up was this new show jacket. So this is the RJ Classics Extreme Soft Shell Washable Show Jacket. So it looks like this, it's navy blue and it's really breathable, which is really important for me because I overheat really easily. Um, and so, and I, Washington isn't the hottest, but it does get up there in the summer, and when you have all that stuff on and you're doing something physical, it gets really hot, as most of you probably know. Um, so yeah, that is what I grabbed from the tech store. And then the thing that I don't have in this video, but have will hopefully be getting soon, is a new helmet. So um, I'm going to get the Charles Owen AYR8. Um, I looked at a few others. I looked at Sam Shields, but that just didn't fit my head that well. And then I also looked at Cask, and I didn't love the way, again, that way that fit my head. Um, I did like the new GPAs, but I just kind of want to try something different because I do have a GPA now, and the last helmet I had was a GPA. Um, so yeah, and then let's switch gears into my horse so this is my horse closet it is a little bit disorganized as you can see but that's kind of the point of this video i'm going to be going through it and looking at see what i have and then putting it back later so i've also decided that i'm going to make this a little bit of a what are my favorite brands video so we're going to start at the very top so this is my show pad and it's like the super quilt brand and i really like them they're super fluffy um, and really nice. I really want a fleece works one, but um, I'm actually not going to be using this too much anymore because my new barn actually provides show pads. But, yep. And then this is a girth. I have about four of them. So this is just an extra that ended up in my closet. And I do have a tack trunk. This is just all the extra stuff. So this is a Kincaid. I feel like that's kind of the basic one. A lot of people have this one. It's just a standard girth. So these are some of my pads. Um, I actually, again, my barn provides them now, so I don't need them there, but I can use them if I'd like. So this is the pretty blue one. This is my favorite blue I have. It's so light blue and pretty. And then I have this burgundy pad, and I love burgundy. This white pad that is a little tiny bit destroyed <laughs> just from being used for schooling and stuff. And then this is my favorite pad of all time. It's navy blue with piping, and I love it. They're all from Dover. And that's my favorite place to buy those saddle pads because they can be so cheap, they can be on sale, and they really last a long time. So my next item is this bridal bag that I don't really use very often because it's in the old barn colors. And the new barn colors are actually burgundy and gray, but it still looks a little bit too much like the old barn. <laughs> And then the next thing is this sleazy sleepwear. I don't use it very often just because I know some people have had bad experiences with it accidentally getting caught somewhere and cutting off circulation, so I just want to be super careful with that. Um, my next thing is these polos, but I don't really use polos too often, and again, my new barn provides things. These are the centaur polos. I do recommend these for sure. They're really well made, and they come in such cute colors. 
Also, um, if you go on Instagram, Passion Filled Polos, I love their polos so much. They're so gorgeous. I'll put a link in the description. Go check them out. They're so cute. Um, my next thing is this bag. Let's see, this has a bridle in it. So this was my schooling bridle, and then I just switched to using my show bridle all the time. I might put this back in the rotation, but I don't really need it right now. So the next thing I have is this just lunge line. Kind of should probably fix that. I don't love this one because it's the nylon and your fingers slip really bad, so you have to have good lunging gloves. Um, let's see, and here's my old GPA helmet, rest in peace. I did get a concussion in this helmet. Please, if you hit your head, don't wear your helmet again, unless it's not too bad. This, I fell straight on my head, and there's literally somewhere where it's half broken, because I hit my head so hard with it on. So, thing is just a bag full of standing, or whatever they're called, wraps for after shows. I also don't need these, because my barn provides them. And then we're going to go through this bag. So this one, I have these bit wipes. I love these. They're the horse amour, I guess. I don't really know how to say it, but um, I like them. Willie really likes them, and he takes a bit a little bit easier with them. These are the peppermint ones, but there's butterscotch and apple. He likes all three. So then I have some braiding bands in here. I don't really use these too often because he gets professionally braided, but when I feel like it or during summer camp, come in handy. And I have this fly spray, just your typical fly spray that you'd buy. It works really well. And that is it. So thank you so much for watching my video. And if you have any questions, comment them down below and I will answer them. I am going to start posting about tri-weekly um, and sometimes more, sometimes less, really just depends on my schedule. My next video should be getting ready for a clinic slash the clinic vlog because I have a Richard Keller clinic coming up this weekend, which I am super excited about. And then I have a horse show in a couple of weeks. So exciting stuff coming up. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. You're gone and I gotta stay.